Hi guys, welcome to Weather in April. My name is April Norman and I want to talk to you today about the symptoms of intracranial hypertension. Now these symptoms are all over the place. It's a pretty complex condition, so I just want to get to the basics of what you can expect from this usually. So the first thing you might notice is a headache or a migraine, and that's because all of that pressure is building up around your brain and just pushing on it and it's causing these pounding, pulsating like headaches of pressure. It's also pushing on all the nerves that run around in your head, including the optic nerve for your eye, and that starts to swell, it's called papilledema. You can go blind. It can cause double vision, blurry vision. I've had blind spots. Usually for me, the higher the pressure, the more it hurts to move my eyes. Sometimes I can't even open them, but it really hurts to look to the side because it's like a bruised pulling sensation just because of all the pressure on those nerves. It's also messing with the nerves of your ear. So you can have what's called pulsatile tinnitus. And that is um, when you can hear your own heartbeat and breathing louder than the sounds around you. Uh, I get these whooshing noises. It sounds like wind hitting a microphone or roaring waves. And the higher the pressure, the louder that whooshing gets. And all of those, that auditory trouble, that can cause a lot of dizziness. I'm assuming maybe the fluctuation in pressure can too, but dizziness is definitely a symptom as well. Nausea is a symptom from the pain. I believe there's a pressure point, uh, doctors still aren't too sure about this, or something with the brain that causes nausea when you have a migraines, some kind of receptors not functioning the way it should. So that's uh, definitely a symptom, sometimes with or without vomiting. Um, Shortness of breath, you might notice that with me a lot. That can be also from the medicine and dehydration, but shortness of breath I found has happened a lot. A lot of neck pain, it hurts to turn your neck to the side or even move because it feels like your whole body's being filled with caulk, thick caulk, so everything's just stiff and it hurts to turn or move at all. The spinal fluid that runs around your spinal cord can't also go out so instead it builds up a whole lot of inflammation and back pain I mean it feels like your back is just gonna collapse on itself feels like your back can't even support your body just like your neck feels like it can't support your head um, so those are some of the symptoms with that there's a lot more and it's very complex and the way that it presents itself is very strange but headache, neck pain, back pain, eye pain, ear problems, hearing problems. Honestly, it's even messed up my GI system, just everything that's happened. I'll have my arms hurt, like the circulation's being cut off. There's um, side effects, of course, from the medication, but the main thing is to figure out if your symptoms match any of these. This uh, is a positional condition sometimes. <laughs> So you might find more relief standing up than you do lying down. So pay attention to that. Now if it's the other way around, that's intracranial hypotension. Whole different condition, but very similar. Um, so keep a, um, an eye out for our future videos. We're going to be talking a lot about this condition, things you can do for it, uh, different treatment options, and just how to live with it. And you can also check out our site, Weather in April. We're here to sp uh, provide awareness spread the word, help doctors find a cure for this condition because nobody wants to live with those symptoms. So if you have any questions, reach out to us, send us a message, drop a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much.